Testies, testies, bundes, bundes, Liga, Liga, one, two, three. <sighs> now then, I'm not going to fart about, I'm just going to get straight into it, because as the title may suggest, we're here to nerd out about this bag, and that's all we're here for. We're going to put our nerd gags on, and we're going to delve into this bag, mate. So if you're not into watching someone talk about a bag for, I know it's probably going to be about 15, 20 minutes, if I'm honest. Uh, then this video ain't for you mate, but if you're here to look at this bag, then welcome, because we're going to nerd out big time. The Osprey Aether 70 AG. It is an absolute beast of a thing mate. It's an absolute beast of a thing and a few people have uh, asked me if I would do a review on this, so I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've used it enough now to do a comprehensive review and give my honest opinion on it. And also, I just wanted to run through a few features that if you own this bag, you might not know about. So, let's get into it. So, we're going to start off. Oh, I mean, the materials and everything, it's got... It's, it's, it is nylon, I believe. But it's got... It's, um, there's thicker material on the bottom for when you're putting it down. I'll put a link below for this particular bag. So, if you want to buy it or check out the the weights and the, the materials and everything, you can have a look at that. I'm just going to run through a few feature, features of it and let you have a little look at the um, at the straps and the internals and stuff like that. So, what makes this uh, a quality bag, mate, is this, the anti-gravity system on the back, which is basically, it feels like it's floating when it's on you. It takes all the weight into the hips, and these hips are made from a material which will eventually, with the heat of your body, it'll, they'll adhere to your to your your shape. So if it's uncomfortable at first, or if it's rubbing, just bear with it. It will it will um, conform to your shape. I believe the Osprey have like a, a heating thing where they will heat the heat the pads, and you can sit it on you, and it'll it'll do it a lot quicker. But just give it time, and it will adhere to your your shape. It the anti gravity system. It is done by Velcro. There's a huge Velcro pad there, which you can then you can lift it up and down, and then put it back on, and use these straps here to lift or lower each side. It's just a case of putting it on your back, jiggling around with it, and having a little play to see what's what what suits you, what's most comfortable for you, and it keeps the whole thing keeps it off your back. It keeps the, if it, so your back's not sweating, it's got this mesh, which extends to the hip as well. If you can see when that's pulled out, this hip, I mean, it's so tight. Yeah, you, you, you don't even need to fasten it at times. It's just, oh, it just sits perfectly tight. You can just carry a lot of weight in it comfortably. And the reason I've got this bag, it was through winter and whatnot. I can normally use my 48 litre, but 70 litre is when I'm taking all my camera equipment, um, you know, food, and you a bigger tent, you want to just have a little bit more of a luxurious camp and you're not doing multi-day hikes, and this is the perfect bag. Perfect bag for a one or two nights, or long distance hiking in, in colder, colder weather, I'd say. So many compression straps, so many buckles, so many things, mate. I love it. I'm a complete nerd when it comes to bags. Uh, I think I've got three or four Ospreys. Uh, I just love them. I think they're brilliant. So these side, you've got these side pockets, and each have got compression straps. But you can choose to have your compression straps in tight to the bag, or they can go over the pocket. So I'll put I put one in and then one out. So if I want anything that needs securing in there, it can go there. And this one's just from a water bottle, so the straps don't get in the way but you can mix it up however you like. It's easy access, so the front straps, the compression straps, so you get, you open them up, and then you can, you can get in the front. Can you? Yeah. So you can get in the front there and you can, you know, if you need to get your stove out or something from the bottom, you're not having to take everything out the top of your bag really handy that really handy and also in the same vein there is a at the bottom 
So you can get in from the top, the middle, and you can also get in from the bottom as well. And this is where you put your sleeping bag, instant access. There's even a divider there, which you can, it's optional, you can take that out if you want, but it just, it keeps your sleeping bag away from everything else. So if you've got wet clothes or anything that you just want to keep away from the rest of your kit, that goes straight in the bottom there, and it's really easy to access. And again, it's got con compression straps on the bottom. But these come really far out, so you can use it to strap your tent onto, or a sleeping mat, or whatever. Oh, I'll tell you what, mate, I'll show you this. This is a really good feature. So, if you've got a littler Osprey bag with the, little, with the buckles on, you'll find in here, behind the compression strap, are these little loops, so you can... And there, so you can clip on. Your mini Osprey. Now, I've had this one for, oh mate, I don't know, I've had about 15 years, this one. The Osprey Viper 9. So, you see that? Turns it into like, you can attach that if you're going traveling or if you're going for long multi-day hikes or you're going to a campsite where you want to do little day trips away from, from camp, then that attaches perfectly. You can even put the big compression straps over it as well. And then you've got yourself a built-in, the ultimate built-in day pack, which I thought was a really cool feature. It's like, um, you know when, you know when all Transformers get together? It's like that. Oh whatever they're called, Power Rangers or whatever they're called, um, Wombles, <laughs> way below. Anyway, I, f I love that feature, I think it's great. Let's put it on. On the straps itself, I mean they're so comfortable. And once you're all strapped up, you're never too far away from a built-in whistle which is on the male part of the top buckle. So if you fall over, and uh, break your ass, whatever you want. Just if you're lying on your back, you can just go. Help me. It's a really good feature because you can't always reach your whistle, so it's always there for you. I think that's excellent. Um, yeah, while I've got it on my back, back, I'll show you the. Uh... Oh, it's so comfortable, mate. Look at it. It's quite easy for your hat for your walking poles. There's a little loop down here, and then into the top bit. Tighten it, there you are. And they don't get in your way, and they're always there. It's a great design, that saw me across the country, that in my Osprey 48, I think it's a great, it's a great little feature. You'll see here, you might not know that these rears are up, tucked up into here, if you get it out, you've got these loops, there's one on each side, I won't get that other one out, but there's one on each side and that's for your ice axe. And then it just the loop just tucks back up into the bag itself, look, into that little space there. Just keeps everything nice and out of the way, which I like. Uh, these compression straps that go across here as well, they also, once the bag is empty, they will stretch all the way around. Because you've got these side compression straps, you can undo this, and that can stretch all the way around to this one here and compress the bag completely on your back. If you're walking around and you've got nothing in the bag and you want the ultimate compression then that'll do that for you. Um, yeah, it's uh, you can fit a, a bladder in it as well which comes out here and you've got the option then to go down either one of these either one of these um, straps. Also on the belt, on the actual on the actual hip itself you've got these two huge pockets and you can fit your phone, uh, trail mix, snacks, whatever you want into them mate, there's loads of room in there. So you've got two two pockets at the top, a huge pocket, this is where I keep my first aid kit, uh, knife, gloves, uh, you can even put a little tarp in there, anything that you need to get to quickly and then in this one you have the brightly coloured uh, raincoat and it's got a little toggle that goes through this loop here 
so that on a windy and rainy day it's not gonna it's not gonna blow away and I believe that so you get that with the Euro I think it is the European model comes with the the rain cover don't quote me on it. I think in the US model I think the, the the top bit turns into a day pack but again this top bit can be used separately you have these little buckles it's so easy to do it's just clip clip done I'll take this off now he says it's easy but look he's struggling look there you go it's really easy just to detach the bucket on the top there and then what I do is if you just it doesn't, I mean, it's, it doesn't turn itself into a, a bag that you can carry per se but if you take one of these to the to the other corner and same with the other one you can just chuck it over your shoulder like that and just be hands free with it and if you're just at camp and you want to you might want to go and watch the sun go down and you want to put a couple of cans in there and a whatever you want and that's a nice little feature to, to have if you need it and then underneath there if you don't have that on hidden under here if you turn these inside out you'll find the female side of these buckles so you can you can use that as a, as a lid really good really simple system to get into even if you've got your big your big gloves on loads of room mate absolutely just acres of it you've got comp compression straps inside oh hello got my mate in there there's no other pockets in there there's just the back bit which has got a pocket down the back which I sometimes slide my grill in and easy just to put back in there so yeah that's all of it really and then so and then at the front once that's got you've got this big stash pouch here big mesh it's a mixture of different materials it's got the mesh and the whatever nylon it is uh, and then you can put your wet clothes in there or just stash bits and pieces really quick while you're on the move. That's it, mate. That's it, mate. <laughs> just play around with it with the anti-gravity system. Just play around with it until it until it until you get it right. And I've taken it on a good few adventures, so I felt like it was a good time just to let you have a little look at it, at all the features and stuff and you know, even if you do own this bag, it's maybe good for you to have a look at stuff that you might not have known or wondering what that buckle does or what that strap does. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just chuck them down. I'll try and answer, mate. It's hard. I do find it hard to reply but to all of them. But I'm sure, in fact, if you put if you have if you do have questions, put them down there because there's a there's a hive brain in there. And between us all, I bet we know everything. <laughs> We are legion, we're stronger together. So if you do have any questions, chuck them down below and someone will answer it. I'm sure. Is that everything I've been through? Yeah, that's it, mate. And that's it. The Osprey Aether 70 AG. And it comes in medium or large. I believe this is the medium, but um, go, Osprey have got an app or go on the website and you can get measured up for it and see which one that you'd uh, that'd, that'd be best for you. <laughs> How long have we been going? Alright, okay, well, I'll probably edit some out. Mate, I can't wait to get back up in the mountains and start using this bad boy. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you want to have a look at it or if you want to purchase it. I'll leave a link below uh, so you can do that. Right, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.